Hello friends, this video on food production enhancement part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us start with animal husbandry. What is animal husbandry? So what is animal husbandry? <clears throat> Managing, breeding and taking care of livestock by humans for profit. Now, so many different terms here. What do we mean by livestock? Well, livestock refers to domesticated animals. Those animals or those living organisms which can be domesticated. So taking care of domesticated animals, managing them properly and then breeding them, that is mating them amongst each other. Why? Why is it all done? For profit. Because human beings get food from these domesticated animals, either in the form of milk or in the form of eggs or in the form of meat. So in some or the other form, they get their food. So that is for their own profit. They do so much, they take care so much of those domesticated animals. And this entire process is known as animal husbandry. Now there are many different types of animals which are domesticated. For example, cows or buffaloes. So they both, cow or buffalo, if you talk about them, they both provide a lot of milk. So, so depending on milk, a lot of dairy products are also prepared and they are used for human consumption. Again, other animals like chickens, uh, they lay eggs and those eggs are also used for human consumption and also the meat of chickens are also consumed. Fishes are also used for consumption. Honey bees are used to produce honey and honey is again used for human consumption and it is also used in a lot of medicines. So if you see all these animals help human beings in some or the other way and that is why for their own profit human beings manage these animals, breed them, take care of them so that they are able to give those products in large amount and in good quality. So that is animal husbandry. So now many of you might be wondering why is it called animal husbandry? So the word husbandry looks to be little similar to husband. It seems as if it has been derived from the word husband. But looking at the definition of animal husbandry, there is no relation with husband. Now basically this husbandry was actually derived from the word husband and earlier long time back husband was often related to the word farmer because husband used was used to be somebody who used to be the master of the house he used to earn for the house and who is a farmer farmer again is somebody who works on fields who grows crops so he is a farmer so in very very early time the word husband had a correlation with the word farmer so husbandry is basically a word which tries to refer to the word farming. So animal husbandry is actually animal farming. So that is the, here in farming what do you do? You grow plants and here you are not growing plants but you are growing animals. Growing animals in the sense you are managing the animals. You are actually deciding the breeding of the animals and the new production of new animals. So everything is being controlled by you. So this is animal farming and that is why it was called animal husbandry. Now, different animals are managed in different ways. So, let us see that how are various animals managed. So, animal husbandry includes dairy farm management. So, this dairy farm management talks about everything related to dairy products and dairy products comes from milk. So, it actually talks about all the animals which help to give milk or which produces milk. So the dairy farm management will only talk about taking care of milk producing animals. Next is the poultry farm arrangement for poultry farm management. Now what is poultry? The word poultry actually means meat of birds. Now some of the common birds which are taken which comes under the poultry farm management are chickens and ducks because these birds they lay eggs so their eggs are used for consumption and also their meat directly is consumed by a lot of human beings. So in poultry farm management we will see how different birds like chickens or ducks or turkey so how different birds are managed and then utilized for human consumption. Next is animal breeding. So in animal breeding we will talk about the 
care which is taken of the animals when they act as a source of food. So we will talk about animal breeding in detail. Beekeeping. So that's what I was telling. Honey bee, it gives us honey and honey is uh, of lot of significance to human beings. So taking care of honey bees and maintaining the beehives is important. So that is what we talk about in beekeeping, which is also known as apiculture. So beekeeping, this is another term for beekeeping, that is apiculture. And the last one that we will discuss is fisheries. So as I said, fishes are a very common source of food for a lot of human beings. And fishes are very rich in a lot of nutrients like proteins. So fishery will talk about how to uh, catch fish and how to sell them, how to take care of them. So that is all about fishery. So these are the five Managements which comes under animal husbandry. So let us quickly discuss about each of them one by one. So first we'll talk about dairy farm management. So it is the management of animals for milk and milk products for human consumption. So as I said, the word dairy is related to milk. So what are the animals that can produce milk? Now obviously in, in dairy farm management, care will be taken of only those animals which are capable of producing milk. So those animals which do not produce milk or whose milk are, is not edible by human beings, so obviously they will not be domesticated for milk. So some of the animals are cows, buffaloes, even camel, goat and sheep. So all these, they produce, all these animals produce uh, milk but more commonly consumed milk is that of cows and buffaloes. However, uh, goat, sheep or uh, camel milk is also edible and they also have high nutritional value. So this is dairy farm management where all these dairy animals are uh, managed well so that they can produce more milk so that the quantity of milk increases and also the quality of milk increases because the quality is very important because we are going to consume it. So we are going to get all our nutrients from this milk so we need to ensure that the quality is also good so both quality and quantity needs to be taken care now how do we take care of all these animals what exactly is done under dairy farm management so maintaining the quality of a dairy farm so how do we ensure that proper quality is being maintained selection of good quality breeds with high milk yielding potential now something certain things are genetic for example the milk yielding potential now it is not necessary that all the cows will produce a lot of milk now some of them have the ability to produce more milk some of them have the ability to produce less milk and this ability of producing more milk or less milk is dependent on their body structure maybe their genes so some of it is genetic some of it is the way their body is organized for example if you compare if you consider human beings in human beings also do you think that two human beings will behave exactly in the same manner or their body will behave exactly in the same manner no right because in both inside both of their bodies there are so many different hormones which are playing their respective roles now it is not necessary that the way a particular hormone is uh, behaving inside one person's body is going to be exactly the same it behaves inside other person's body so that is not really necessary and moreover there are so many genetic changes between two persons so there can be a lot of differences so in this case also even though all cows have the capability to produce milk but whether they will produce more milk or less milk that again depends upon their own body structure now it has been observed that certain variety of cows so certain variety of cows they have more potential to give more milk so they have higher milk yielding potential now if a, somebody is maintaining a dairy farm and if he wants to maintain the quality of the dairy farm so it is important that he selectively choose chooses the cows which are going to be present in the dairy farm and those cows should be of good quality breeds which have higher milk yielding potential Next is proper feeding of the cattle. This is extremely important. Now we say that the milk which is being produced by the cow is going to be extremely nutritious. Now how is the milk going to be nutritious? So 
the more nutritious food the cow eats the better would be the quality of the milk and the better is the quality of the milk the benefit will be for us because we are consuming that milk so if we want that the milk is of superior quality then we also need to ensure that the cow is being fed properly so the cow should be given fodder because fodder is mostly the food for cows so fodder should be of good quality and it should also be given in sufficient quantity for a cow now if the cow is not getting sufficient amount of food so it will starve it will feel hungry so in that case it will tend to become weak so the milk that is being produced by the cow that will also decrease in quantity as well as quality so proper feeding is extremely important next is cleanliness so this is another very important thing now why do we want to maintain cleanliness in the dairy farm that's because if cleanliness is not maintained then there can the, the, the animals will be more prone to various diseases so wherever there is no cleanliness the chances of um, insects or microorganisms being present there increases now if the pathogens attack the animal the animal might suffer from a disease and the milk coming out from the body of a diseased animal can even be dangerous for our consumption so that means cleanliness has to be maintained not only for uh, I mean, not only in that area where the cow is staying, but cleanliness also needs to be maintained during milking. For example, the person who is milking the cow, he should also wash his hands properly and the vessel where the milk is being stored, that should be cleaned properly. The way the milk gets transported from the dairy farm to other areas, so the transportation process should also have proper cleanliness because the milk which is being coming out from the cow, the same milk is being transported to various parts of the country. So the cleanliness has to be maintained starting from the place where the cow is staying till the transportation of milk. Next is disease resistant breeds. So what does this mean? This means that now every animal will be prone to diseases. Now some will be more prone to diseases and some will be less prone to diseases. Now, if you talk about human beings also, you would have seen that some of us are more prone to certain diseases. In fact, some of us fall ill more frequently than others. And that is because maybe our immune system is not very strong. So even a small pathogen attacking us makes us severely ill. Whereas for some people, they are very strong with a very strong immune system and they do not fall ill that frequently. So they, they are ill very rarely. So why these changes happen? Because of different body systems. So one has a stronger immune system, the other has a weaker immune system. So in case of animals as well, some of them might be less resistant to diseases. That means as soon as even a small pathogen attack, that cow might fall ill. Whereas there might be certain breeds of cows which are more disease resistant. So in order to maintain quality, more disease resistant breeds should be selected because anyways, cleanliness has to be maintained so that uh, pathogens do not attack the animal. But still, if the cow is also disease resistant, so in that case, there are chances that even if a pathogen attacks, the animal will be able to protect itself from the attack. So that's why disease resistant breeds should be selected. Regular visits by a veterinary doctor. Now, veterin what is who is a veterinary doctor? So, a veterinary doctor is a doctor is that kind of a doctor who takes care of animals or who treats animals. Now, it is very important that a regular checkup of the animals is done to ensure good health because the animals cannot speak like human beings. So in case of human beings, even if we have a little bit of stomach ache or headache, we immediately tell somebody that, okay, I'm having headache or I'm having stomach. So we are able to express ourselves properly. But in case of animals, that is not the case. So the animal might not be able to communicate if, the, if it, it is not feeling well. So what needs to be done is if regular checkup is being done by a doctor, so the doctor will be able to diagnose if the animal is really healthy or not. And if if not, then proper treatment can be done for the same. Because please remember one thing that healthier the animal, better would be the quality of milk. 
So it is very important that all the animals in the dairy farm remain healthy and for that purpose only proper feeding is required, cleanliness is required, uh, regular doctor visits are required. So all these things need to be taken care in order to maintain a good quality dairy farm and this is what we talk about in the dairy farm management. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four-step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.